Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It's a small one again. I have been to like five or six different Dollar Trees, and they're just not putting out product. A lot of it I have found um, <laughs> at my store I went to this morning out in Lancaster, or Lancaster, however you pronounce it, here in Ohio. The entire staff was up in arms complaining that they were being overworked and underpaid. I mean, they were like literally yelling at each other through the store, which is a little strange, but I, I feel for their plight. You know, they're making apparently $8.25 an hour because that's what one lady yelled. So, I mean, I don't, I understand that they're making, you know, that their wages are low, customers are going in yelling at them and because the product's not on the shelf, but they don't have enough staff. Like I get that completely and it's frustrating. So I'm not trying to add to anybody's frustration. So I just went to a bunch of different stores today and unfortunately I'm just not finding anything new. But I, I mean, I did get a fair amount of stuff here. Some of it's repeat, some of it's new. And yeah, so I'll just show you. Now I did find this brand, Carolina Country Pork Rinds. These are Sweet Ma Barbecue. They, they have a little bit of heat to them, but they're really good and they're very crunchy and I love that. Um, and they are zero carbohydrate. So I grabbed two bags because I love pork rinds, guys. I can't help it. It's my chip, if you will. Um, I did pick up another one of these drying mats. I love them for under my coffee maker and I do spill a lot of coffee on them. <laughs> so sometimes... I overwashed the one I have, so now I needed a new one. This is navy blue. These also I feel like would be great under plants. If you have like a lot of plants sitting around and you water them, this would absorb any maybe spilling that happens while you're watering your plants. So that may actually happen in my window over here. If you can see this one plant, I have a whole bay window full of plants and sometimes I spill the water. I don't know. I got a shoe eraser. We're gonna check it out and see how it works. I have a feeling it's a it's a magic eraser, but they're calling it a shoe eraser. Wanted to try it. It says use gently and add plenty of water to get like the dirt off of the um the white part of your tennis shoe. So I'm moving that over there so I can take it with me. I might let my little cousin try it on her um, Crocs. I picked up a 100% acetone nail polish and these little pumps, I love them. I wasn't sure if what I had here was 100% acetone, but I do need it to remove this nail polish. This is a uh, gel and it needs to be removed with 100% acetone. So I just wanted to make sure I had it. So I grabbed it and this little pump makes it so easy and mess free to take your nail polish on and off. So I did want to share that. Um, I found a little bit of makeup. This was super cute. It's Wet n Wild Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter. So I thought we would try that out. And I think it's just, you know, for your regular highlights. It's a unicorn glow. And then I found, this is Hard Candy Nourishing Lip Crayon with Coconut Oil and Hemp. I don't know what the color is and do I need more lipsticks? No. Do I keep buying lipsticks? Yes. I need to get rid of a bunch that are old and I'm also on a no more buying chapsticks until I use up all the ones I have. I have a bunch of candy cane, peppermint candy cane. It's my favorite chapstick and it's chapstick brand and I love it. I'm obsessed, I have it everywhere. In my bathroom, sitting next to my chair, I've got one in my car, I have one in my purse, I keep one when I ride my bike. I might have a small problem guys, but I love it. So this color, oh, it's very bright. I like it. It doesn't have a scent to it. Um, and it doesn't look like it's going to be like a stain. I mean, it's definitely going to come off. But that's okay. That's a fun color for summertime. You know, we got to be fun here. 
So we have that. And then the only other snacky thing I, I picked up are these. Do you remember Velaments? You remember Velaments. This is Velaments brand. These are 28 sugar-free blood orange mints. And they're really good. Let's try one. And um, for a dollar, I love mints because I drink so much coffee. I always feel like I have coffee breath. So I keep mints in my car and on my desk. So it's a little tin and it slides, which is fun. And then you get, it has just a little opening. And it's square, just like the Vela mints were. Mm, and it tastes orange. Let's see if there's any mint to it. Mm -mm. Just orange. But I love the lid, how it, it just slides back and forth. And you just get one little one out. Oh, that's fun. Keep one in my car. Okay. I found some fall things. And I'm not ready for fall yet. But you gotta buy it when you see it. This thing, this little guy here makes me so happy. It's just a little fox. It's plastic. Yeah, it's 100% plastic. It's not heavy. It just, it's a really nice job of the paint on it. The little tail is textured. This is for fall, gonna go in my tiered tray for 100% sure he will make, sorry. He will make it into my tiered tray. I love him. And the other thing I found, these are new this year, at least in my stores, an acorn and they're flat on the bottom. So they'll sit at like an angle and not roll around in a pine cone. I should have bought a bunch of the pine cones and I could have painted them for Christmas time. Cause I feel like pine cones to me are more Christmas, but, but I got one of each in this coppery color. It'll go with my purple and golds and jewel tones. And I figured this is a nice pop. They had them in silver gold and then this like coppery color. And I love them. And these are like glass or I hesitate to say ceramic, but they are a, I think they would break. Yeah, they're like a glass. But like I said, I only saw these two shapes. Now they had the pumpkins out that they've had out every year in these metallics. But I love just adding a little spark of metals in between like earthy stuff. I don't know. And then I found this honeycomb ribbon. I grabbed two. I'm not sure if I'm going to consider this fall or summer with their bee theme. I love it. You get nine feet per spool. I saw this one time at one store. I grabbed two spools of it and that's the last I've seen it. But I love it. And think about this with like a green or a black even. Do a bumblebee wreath or something. But it also could be I mean, I think it is honeycomb, but it could also be, um, use it in like, uh, if you have a farm, like a farmhouse decor, like a chicken wire. Words, Lori, words, chicken wire. But I grabbed it. I try not to buy a bunch of ribbon because I have a lot, but this was definitely unique. And I want to use it this year. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it in the fall or not, but we'll see. Um for Miss Sarah and my niece. I got her these wall decors. She's doing her classroom in like a modern rainbow and we think this will go with her theme. And it says love and there's the rainbow with the hearts but she'll just probably use the rainbows in her classroom. And she can hang these on her wall. So I grabbed that for her and I need to bring it today because I'm gonna see her. And then I grabbed one more thing of these stickers because I think I gave all the other ones I had away. And I would like these for my planner. So I'm going to use those for my planner. Then I found this. Um, can we talk about this tiny tot little, it's one of the little cubes, but it's like half the size. Look at it. It's so tiny. It's eight inches by nine inches, so it's super small, but I thought this would be great to store some crafting stuff in that I don't need a lot of space 
for some smaller items and I can put them on my craft table. I like to, um, when I have projects, I like to put all the materials in one container and then when I have everything I need collected, then I can go do that. It's just how I organize, especially if I'm doing videos. But I just thought this one was adorable. I've not seen this size or maybe I have, but I don't feel like I have. I've seen the short ones that are like rectangular, but not this size. So I just thought it was fun. So I grabbed one to show you. Um, I found this days until the big day. Now, this is for a wedding. We all can agree on that. However, pop this heart off, spray paint this, do days to Valentine's, days to your birthday, days to school starts. I mean, this is a simple, simple, heck, you don't even have to do anything to the front. Paint the back, pop this off and move it back here and glue it on and now you have days to whatever. I just thought this was so much potential to do a craft item or to do a DIY. Um, I think it would be great days to Christmas. And I feel like you could paint that to look like a reindeer, like paint it, you know, around the edges with some brown paint and make it and put a red nose down here, like a Rudolph. I think you could make these look like antlers. And I believe I've seen something like that on Pinterest. If you want to make a very easy countdown to Christmas, just a thought or Put a bow up here or something so it's not a heart. I mean, there's ways to make this look Christmassy. So I thought that was fun. We'll try. I don't know. I don't have any ideas yet. I didn't realize they sell these puppy pads in double XL. So I grabbed a bigger pack because I think this will fit in the carrier better than the small one. I was going to have to put multiple small ones in the carrier, but I think these extra, extra large ones will do the trick. For when I, if you don't know, Alex has to go to the vet on Tuesday. He needs to have a, his canine pulled. He had an infection in his tooth. And um, this every time I take him to the vet on the way home, he, he has accidents in his carrier or he has purposes. I'm not sure. I think he just gets super stressed out and he goes to the bathroom. The last time he peed and pooped and it was a mess. So I'm going to put the puppy pads down and line his carrier with them so that if he does have an accident it's just have this that I have to throw away and not take everything apart and scrub that thing down because it's a mess when he does that and he goes Tuesday so I needed them so I have two different sizes to work with here to see which one will line it the most secure because the bottom pad comes out so I can wrap it around and then push it back down in there but I'm sure the wood and the pad already smell like his urine because I washed it, but it's hard to tell. All right, let's get the rest of this stuff out and do this. I bought some construction paper. Um, I got the Crayola brand. I really just want the black paper. I love writing white on black and I wanna put one of these pieces in my planner. And so I needed some black, you get a couple sheets of each color and then I'll probably pass on the rest of the construction paper to some child that I know, right? Cause it's not how we do things. We take, oh, and I can also use the red in my planner. Um, if I like it and I don't like the texture of the paper, I can always go to the office supply store and get black paper, but I just want to try before I spend money on paper. Then I found Fancy Nancy, guys. This is a Fancy Nancy um, fashion parade, and it is a book. I don't know how much. Oh, this is regularly $7. So it's a book to read, but it also comes with stickers that can be moved around. So the, the child can put the stickers wherever they want throughout the story. You know, they can place Fancy Nancy in here or do whatever, and then they can move it around. Um, my niece Sarah's a friend of hers has a five-year-old niece so I'm gonna pass this on to her but I know Fancy Nancy is beloved by lots of little girls and boys who like this type of um, fantasy play I and mean, I think it's great for their imagination but I love that it's a book and stickers so it's like an activity while kind of learning to read so I grabbed that for her and I will pass this along I think we will see Kristen this weekend, I believe. She'll be here on Saturday. If not, I will have Sarah give it to her for me. 
Um, but I think it's great. And I love it that there's like a place open in this page to like put a little person so you can tell the story, like read the story and then like elaborate on it. And I think that's great for some fantasy play for little people. So I grabbed that for Abby and I might give her the rest of this construction paper if I get to it before she comes. And then to go with it, I picked up these a white marker pens. I love them. I love these pens. I got it in white. And then I got like a rose gold. They are fantastic. They are metallic markers. They don't have a ton of ink. So I typically pick them up every once in a while when I see them. The white writes so good on black. And they both show up on black. Any of the metallics. But oh, I love them. So I just grab them here and there to put in with my stash of metallic markers. So I need to go through that stash and pull some out. And then for back to, well, this is for me. I needed a new ruler to work on my planner and it's magnifying. Hello? Do you see my eyes? <laughs> and there's glitter involved. Um, but mostly I just needed a straight edge to do my planner and I loved this. And this is the time of year to buy rulers. And I know at Target, I probably could have got one for a quarter, but it wouldn't have been glitter and magnet and see through. Just saying. I picked up for the giveaway, these are weekly notepads by Crown Jewels. So it's Monday through Sunday and you can just plan your whole week out. This is a nice planner if you don't want to use a big full planner. These are fantastic for just planning out your week. Um, and then I grabbed this one for my little cousin Addison. I thought she would enjoy that print so i grabbed two for the giveaway and one for addison and then i picked up these from also crown jewel brand notebooks for the giveaway and they are just they just say notes 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 the front is gold the back is black and then there are 60 sheets and this is a women-owned company by the way and they just say notes and it's just notebooks to go with the planner stuff that I got. So these are for the giveaway, which I'm super excited about. I'll put these back over here. And then for the kids for back to school, they had paper mate pens. I love getting name brands at the Dollar Tree guys. So these are two packs and this is a gel pen, 0.7 millimeter. So I grabbed one for Riley and one for Addison. And then they had the zebra or zebra, depending where you're from, in the blue. They had them in black too, but I grabbed the blues in the zebra pens, which I really enjoy. These are also gel. They are also 0.7. So I grabbed two of those. So one for each of the kids. And then Addison, I picked her up a purple and pink set from Zebra, which are also gel 0.7. I think a 0.7 is great for the kids to write with. It's a medium point, it's not too pokey, it's not too sharp, it's not gonna cut through their paper, they're gonna get a good line. I just think that's great. And I know maybe again, I could have got them cheaper, but they don't need a ton of stuff because I've always kept them well stocked for school supplies. But I thought those were just some fun things that I could bring and put in their little coffers. So when they're ready to go back to school. And guys, that is everything. That is everything I got this week at the Dollar Tree. I am hoping that my Dollar Tree comes out with some more stuff because yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to show you some neat things. I just don't, they just don't have them in stock. But that is everything. I'm gonna clean up my little mess. And I hope that you enjoy this video. And I will talk with you later.